Congratulations, you've just earned a badge from Toro University. So what happens next? After the administrator awards you your badge, you'll receive an email like this one. When you click on the email, if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see that there is the ability to create an account, which would allow you to set up an open backpack that could display all of your badges. You can also download the badge with all of its metadata, or you can share the badge on different social media platforms. If you want to create an open backpack, which is a good idea for individuals who might be interested in obtaining more than a single badge, you would click on the Create Account option. This will take you into the Toro University Micro-Credential and Digital Badging website where you can create a backpack. Follow the steps to create an account, and once you have created that account, you'll see that you now have a backpack that lists all of your badges. This backpack can be used to host your badges from any organization. If you scroll to the top left hand side and click on the down arrow next to Toro University, it will give you the option for all of the other organizations that have issued you a badge. You can view your badges by organization, but all of your badges are included in your Badger personal account. The first time that you visit this option, it will give you some generic information about Badger and your backpack. If you scroll to the bottom, you'll see the option to view your Badger backpack. And this is an open backpack that will have all of your badges from all of the different organizations that you've received badges from, regardless of what platform that organization uses. If you would like to share your badge on Facebook, simply scroll down to the Facebook icon and click on it. If you are not already logged in, it may ask you to log in first. Once you have logged in, it will bring up a screen that asks you to share the badge. You can share it as part of your news feed or story or several other options. You can add some comments about the badge and then determine if you want it to go specifically to your feed or to a story on your Facebook profile. Once you've clicked the appropriate options, you can click on post to Facebook and your badge will appear in your Facebook feed. If you would like to share your badge to your LinkedIn profile, scroll down to the LinkedIn icon and click on it. If you have not already logged in, it may ask you to log in first. Once you have logged in, you'll have two options. You can share your badge as a post, or you can send it to someone in a private message. Click on the option that you would like, and you can see that it will give you the opportunity to say something about the badge. When you are ready, go down to the bottom right hand corner and click post. If you'd like to see the post, click on the view post option and it will pop up in a new window. Otherwise, you can go to your profile and you should see it under the activity section. Another way to share the badge on LinkedIn is to import the badge to your profile. In order to do this, the first thing that you need to do is download the badge. To do that, you would click on the download option in the email you received awarding you the badge. Once you have downloaded the badge, log into your LinkedIn and go to your profile. On the profile page, if you don't already have a licenses and certifications section, you will need to click on add profile section. Under the recommended options, you want to add licenses and certifications. In this particular section, you'll be able to add the details of your badge. When you get to the field for the credential URL, go back and get the web address for your badge, which can be done by clicking on the badge in the original email that you received, or can be done from your backpack. Copy and paste that address into the credential URL field and click on the Save option. Then, if you scroll down to the Licenses and Certifications section, you will see your badge listed there, as well, the organization that gave it to you, and when it was issued. If you click on Show Credential, it will take you to the website for your badge. If you would like to share your badge on Twitter, scroll down to the Twitter icon and click on it. If you are not already logged in, it may ask you to log in first. Once you are logged in, the system should automatically populate a tweet for you to share. 
You can add more to the tweet or edit what was automatically added. When you are ready, all you have to do is click on the tweet option and your tweet will appear in your stream. If you would like to share your badge on Pinterest, scroll down to the Pinterest icon and click on it. If you are not already logged in, it may ask you to log in first. Once you are logged in, the system should automatically ask you to add it to one of your boards. What I would suggest is creating a single board for all of your badges. Once you have created that new board, it will automatically add your badge to that board. If you go to your profile, you should be able to see all of your pins, including the board that has your badge on it. This has been a short video on how to receive your badge and the different ways that you can share your badge.